stuff. Well, that's the shades for I give up, and I'm joined by Dave and the Steph from the shades. Um, again, thanks for coming in, lads. Um, I give up. I, we were just talking there as that was playing. I remember the actual the night that that single was launched in the in the uh, Grand Social. That's right. And Ireland were playing Bosnia. That's I, right, I, yeah. oh, I don't know why I thought it was Holland, but you corrected me there, and it was Bosnia. And the minute a couple of mates, a great night that was too. Um, what's been going on since with the shades? I mean. It's a, it's a good question, I suppose. It's a good question. Um. Yeah, well, we lost Donna in 2015. We were originally a five piece or a four piece now. And uh, okay. they've been just chipping away with four of us ever since, really. I think the, main, the main concern over the last couple of months is really looking at getting a bigger back catalogue of our own songs rather than sort of having a set full of covers or half covers and half you know originals. So that was really the main focus over the last. 10 yeah. months or so. Yeah. So it's kind of like, well, like get back in the garage, so to speak. More or less, yeah, yeah really much, more or less. Yeah. Much, yeah. Well, there's one thing I'll always say, I mean, you can, go, you can go on Facebook, you can make videos, you can do all that stuff, but the, the product that you're selling is music. All that stuff mm -hmm. is great, but, you know, and my advice to any band really is spend your time on the music. The other stuff is, it's all well and good, right. and, but it'll come, but the music is essentially your product, so... Yeah, so I suppose that's a good move. So your your next gig is with us in Fuzzed Open Swords, which is just Thursday night. That's right. Um, with Sun Machine and Dean Mulligan mm -hmm. on the line. I'm really looking forward to that one next week. And um, yeah, so it's good to get back on the road. Exactly, yeah, yeah we're, we're looking forward to it. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. And they're two great bands to play with exactly, as well. Absolutely. So yeah, um, so it should, be, it should be a good night. We hope so. And if you want to come down, just the details on that. It's 8 o'clock, doors open with a DJ. And we'll have the three bands, the Shades of course, and Sun Machine and Dean Mulligan, as I mentioned. It's five euros on the door, and there's a free CD, a uh, first up compilation CD, which is pretty cool if I do say so myself. Um, for the first 100 in, we had only managed to afford 100 of those, unfortunately. So get there early to make sure you get one. Uh, it's going to be a really good night. Um, if you want to text in, you can do on 87 or you can also catch us on Facebook, it's just Fuzzed Up Radio Show on Facebook. Um, give us a message if you want, say hello to the lads or request a song or anything else. Um, we're going to play a song now, this is Avenue A and Holy God Lightly, this is nothing you can say. Back to the shades. Um, we were we were booking a group for Good Vibrations, right. which is another, um, another night that... Um, Aside of the full stuff that we just spoke about for anyone listening at home that doesn't know, um, it's in the underground in Dublin and it's in the 23rd of February. Really looking forward to it. And the Good Vibrations thing is it's 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 a 60s night, but not necessarily it's 60s inspired mm. club night. Is I suppose how we best describe it. Uh, a lot of 60s music and a lot of stuff that's kind of. Um, you know, it evokes that era or inspired by that era, you know. So um, we were looking for a band. I, I run with some other lads. We were looking for a band, and uh, the, the Shades were an obvious fit for it, going with your influences and your sound. I mean, your influences, if you were to go by your Facebook, are the likes of the Airboards, the Beatles, right. you know, and there's a lot of modern bands too, but there's a lot of that 60s in your music. So they're, they're obviously influencing you, but what kind of stuff influences you, you know, outside the music? Where, you know, is there anything outside of music that you can kind of draw influence from? Um, apart from music and drinking, we probably say football. <laughs> yeah, you know, probably be the other man. Yeah, 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 sports yeah, really. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mostly music, yeah, I right, suppose it'd be more yeah. within the words and within what you're writing, you know, that I'm kind of getting that, you know, because your sound is there. It's obviously, you know, some some people it's a bad thing, some people it's a good thing. I think with Jews it's great because, you know, I think you just do really well if you're not authentic kind of take on it. But I, I suppose lyrically, I mean, you know, where, what is it that inspires you to write, you know? Uh, yeah, it's a good question. I'd probably say just, it probably would stand for music. I wouldn't say it'd be any other other facet of so, stuff that would inspire you really. Kind of just a desire to make music More and less, just, yeah, yeah, whatever yeah. comes. Exactly, yeah, yeah, the main thing. Or maybe you just don't notice it and it's happening, yeah. but you just, you're just, you're just so, yeah, I, I guess. So I suppose yeah. it's not really an easy question, mm -hmm. you know. But um, I have to say now, I'm really looking forward to the two gigs, mm -hmm. and we've got a good lineup of DJs on that one for the for the underground. That's going to be really cool. So outside of those two shows, like you know, um, 2019, that's your kicking off 2019. I know you've, as you said, you took a bit of a a break mm -hmm. and you kind of try to kick your sound and kick your songs That's around right. a little bit. Mm -hmm. Have you any other plans or like hopes for 2019 outside of that? Well like what you're saying, the last probably 10 months or so we were working on sort of building our catalogue of original tunes. So we'd like to say hopefully for some stage in this year we maybe get yeah. some sort of release out. Hopefully towards the end of the year, mm -hmm. yeah. So. 
an EP or something. Yeah. Maybe just a few more gigs and stuff like exactly, that in the meantime. Yeah, just to come in the meantime as well. We've done so, uh, yeah. the IPO festival in Liverpool the last mm-hmm. couple of years. Like we're hoping to get back over exactly. again. They have that in the Cavern Club. Mm-hmm. Like, so, uh, yeah, I've seen pictures of that. That's the cool, that's cool yeah, spot. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. just off topic, did you see the video of that guy playing oh, the guitar yeah, on the stage? Yeah, yeah. He got offended. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to know what they actually yeah, yeah. It's bizarre, isn't it? Yeah, it's, I mean, it was such oh, a bizarre video. But mm-hmm. did you? Oh, by the way, for everyone at home, I've, we've, we've some other guests who are just sitting in with us, which is my colleague and regular listener and his daughter, Mick Wife, who I work with, who is um, a keen supporter of everything that we do with Fuzzed Up and helps us out with all the videos and bits and bobs like that. So thanks, Mick, and thanks for dropping in. No problem. And you're welcome. Also to you. You're always very welcome here. Just for anyone at home that doesn't know, or maybe looking going, who are them? You know, on the <laughs> webcam. There you know. Um, well, I was I lost my trail of thought there. I was going to say something, but anyway, I'll move on with the song. It's gone. This is the Prefab Messiahs, and um, it's it's a brand new single from them. Uh, it was released on the 18th of January. You can catch it on Bandcamp and download it and stream it and all that stuff if you want. And it's called Don't Give Up on Beautiful Things. <laughs> 